Every of them, every of them, their backside is very large. Even the tall ones, even the medium, like all of them. That is what the uniform. welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this face for the first time welcome in and welcome to the gang please do not make it your last don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new video and in today's video as you all can see we have a guest and this is actually you guys the second time of seeing her it's nothing new you guys have seen her before and i think you guys will be seeing her a lot because a lot is about to go down and um, but what before we get into that let her introduce herself okay hi guys what am i supposed to say you guys already know me i'm her sister and I'm, Too much information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her. I'm a sister and again i didn't put her elder sister at that um you can follow me on instagram at official underscore glow getter i'm popularly known as glow getter you know hey, every other every other information you need maybe for my other social media platforms you can get it on, on official underscore glow getter so basically be on yes the just follow me on instagram and every other as other access to other social media platforms you get it there so thank you and i'm happy to be here i hope you guys welcome me mm -hmm. we are what are we ripping today be what are we repping today yeah okay before we go into that let's first of all talk about our outfit i mean as you guys can tell my sister she just came back from ghana yesterday and i know it's too early for this video i hijacked her immediately she came back because you guys noticed that i haven't uploaded a video in like three days i've been waiting for her to come back so that i'll film this series and this video specifically and i got this lovely dress from her this earring from her she also got her dress herself uh, but we'll not let's not spend the whole day talking about that so let's just get into what today's video is about okay this bond between ghana and nigeria is almost like six sister countries but then again it's also two different countries but i would just want her to tell us her experiences in ghana what she thinks of ghana we basically have six topics she's going to why are you looking at the questions we basically have six topics she's going to tell us about so we're just going to get into the topics one after the other okay so let's just get right into the video the first thing i want to ask you is culture shock what is it about ghana that surprised you what took you on our ways what did you know wow so things like this happen disappointed happy surprised what was it you know i'm not going to say i didn't i don't think i have a lot of culture shock but what happened to me was that i was thinking that you know the african I, I i forgot we are all africans at the end of the day i thought that maybe the african judgmental stuff didn't cross into ghana i thought it ended only in nigeria i think um the next morning when i arrived i went to buy food too i was wearing a bomb shirt and a see-through singlet when um when we we are waiting for our turn to get, okay for us to get food um there was and they were stare one like i was i was getting stared at i don't know why but one particular guy in question one huge ugly guy he was staring so the next thing he called my partner and was done like hi like so because my partner has been there before so I, he thought maybe he's someone that knows him you know or something like that so he was not like um hi i want to talk to you say yeah do you stay around here all those kind of things like he thought it was someone from his place too like someone that knows him someone that he has had like a, a connection with before so i'm not like ah, what did he talk to you about but then like don't worry when we get to our accommodation he will let me know so when we got there he told me that he said that next time when you and your you and your girl is coming now that please let her cover up and all those kind of things so now what didn't shock me with that though I don't know. I did surprise. Then also another thing when I, what I saw is that their taxis, like you know us, we they use buses so they are bus routes. But there's this 
there's this common taxis they use i was really surprised that i saw the taxi it looked like those old in days car <laughs> i don't know it looked like those old in days car and it was constant and like gonna have gonna has this kind of should i say local natural originality feel do you understand and they are all together like they are uniform yeah i guess that's just the thing like and um they are calm they are calm they are calm i think um, they are uniform because basically they speak one language yeah that yeah, yeah that makes sense and it's a small town like i yeah. think they want uh, like it's a small town so they're all together on like Nigeria, we have a lot of yeah, people. too diverse. Mm -hmm. The diversity in Nigeria is too much. Mm -hmm. And about that taxi thing, I can remember, like, their taxis are really weird. Yeah. They like, look like... Um, you know, you know, Corolla. Like, no, no, no Corolla. Corolla is... That Picanto. Pijo. No, that Pijo. Mm -hmm, Pijo. Yeah. And the painting, they have similar paintings yeah. on all yeah. cars. And again, you enter taxi, you order, you order taxi, there's no... They always wind down. No AC. <laughs> it's why maybe you don't say, okay, don't you have AC? You will not put AC for you. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, that's fun. That's actually, <laughs> it's actually a new thing. And then about the dress, uh, the, um, you know, people being talking about how you dress. I didn't really expect that. But basically, you know I that. I we're African. So next time I behave myself. I thought that since I left Nigeria, I'm supposed to, you know, yeah, I mean, I, my whole season. Then another thing I want us to talk about is foods, Ghanaian foods. Oh. But, but before then, let's talk about Nigerian jollof and Ghana jollof. I mean, that's basically, it's an unending phase, which is better. But before that, I feel like, you know, it's going to fit you depending on your taste buds. Mm -hmm. Like, just talk about it. Okay, me, I won't lie. The first time, that what I got that morning was jollof rice. The food I got that morning. I said, I'm going to try it. So, when I ate it, when I ate that, I was like, I was disappointed. I told my partner, is this what the hype is about? That me, I still prefer Nigerian jollof. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Then, he was not like, there is a lie, I'm being biased, you know, those kind of things that she don't worry. So the next, I think in the evening or the next day, I ate jollof from a different place. Mm -hmm. And I liked it, I won't lie. I think what I'm going to say is that it's relative based on where you get it from. Because expertise in cooking is different yeah, so yes yeah, yeah. so it's like if you if you if you eat my food and i don't know how to cook you hate that food you understand so i think that it's not like it's better than nigerian jello food it tastes good that's what i'm going to say it tastes good but it has there's this type of rice they use i don't know that it's basmati rice or something so there is not like a, it's not normal rice they use but it tasted well it tasted well but <laughs> It's eatable. That's what I'm going to say. It's eatable, but um, the Nigerian me will not let me pick Ghana jello. So I'm going to say it's eatable. <laughs> I'm going to still pick my Nigerian jello. Okay, but like if you were told make a choice, what would you rather eat? Like if you are like you didn't have a choice, so you're going to eat like Ghana jello and Nigerian jello for like the rest of your life. What would you rather eat? I'm a patriotic citizen. In as much as I want to pick Ghana jollof, I still pick Nigerian jollof. Personally, I feel like I pick Nigerian jollof because Ghana jollof is like slimy. Not slimy, but like, not like it's slimy. Together. Yeah, it's stuck, to, it's stuck together. And I'm like, am I having... Grinded rice. Gr yeah, Grinded am I having... Rice. It's like when Koreans try to make rice, but not like that soft. Not yeah, like it's how... Not soft, it's yeah. not like that, but it's like... Why is it so? Why can't yeah. I feel the rice? Why, why can't, can't I? I why can't I see how a rice is supposed to look? It's not like I'm not. You're not making food for your baby, but like regardless. And I like how they like that they are jello fries because how I ate my when I ate jello fries, then planting, then there's this stew. Oh, they wow. also put on top. I don't know what this that name of this stew is, but it was really sweet. I think I, I please pardon me, Ghanaians, if I don't pronounce it well. Kache, kache. She says it's kache, <laughs> kache. Like it's like rice, rice and beans. I don't know if it's rice and beans, but it's brown in color. Mm -hmm. Then they put gari. Then there's one green thing. I think it's spring onion. Then pomo. Is it pomo, boys? But although that excitement filled my tummy, I wasn't eating, but I was still trying to eat the food. So that one, that kache, I ate it. Then the other one I ate was also something called, I think it's white soup. It's like pepper soup, but it's not pepper soup. I don't know what they call it. I don't Is it still? I've forgotten. I don't know the name of the food, but it's like pepper soup. Like it has brownish tomato taste in it 
then meat. Then there's something called plantain fufu. I don't know if I got it well, but you know agidi Nigerians, you know something that look like agidi but brown in color. It's plantain that they used to make make it. So those are my favorite foods. Impressive. I feel like that that one made with plantain will really taste nice because yeah. plantain never goes wrong. Mm, that was my favorite food. Ah I miss Ghana. Ah uh-uh. ah. It's just yesterday. I miss Ghana. Okay. We're going to talk so peaceful. Yeah, it's actually a really nice place to be. It's Mm -hmm. actually I mean, you know, it depends on where you stay. That Mm -hmm. everywhere you go, even if you go to the Paris, the world's most beautiful Mm -hmm. place, everywhere has its ups and downs. There is definitely that part of Paris Paris that is like that is like the ghetto. And then there's the part that is tourists worthy so that applies to basically everywhere in the world because everywhere you go is someone's hometown do you, do you get it yeah, that makes so sense. yeah that's just how it goes you have to say about people's behavior Ghanaians, they are very calm nice uniform they are they are their hospitalities they have they have good hospitality but they can tell once you're foreigner and when i mean foreigner i don't mean people um from the u.s and only as long Black. as you're visiting you're a foreigner yeah. then once you said on your nigerian they say oh more nigerian oh more oh, like more niger even in the airport yeah. anywhere they are so welcoming like they treat people well like the hospital the response from service providers they are okay but once you're foreigner the way they will hike price for you eh? you know i'll not be like can locals get these things yeah basically so, yeah i feel like that's not necessary but we're not just going let we, let we don't get let's not that. get into that and then miss the point let's, let's and then that, people's so. behavior i feel like they are nice people too mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because yeah you know i don't know the Ghanaians what tend i like to, is like they, they don't package they're not packaging for anybody you understand you know how you see your fellow nigerian mm-hmm. you, they are not packaging yeah they're, they're and not then packaged. with Ghan- that's where originality comes in yeah, yeah makes sense and I feel like, you know, the Ghanaians have, like, a darker skin tone than Nigerians. Yeah, yeah. They are very, very dark. Yeah, when you go to Ghana, you can... Even you as a Nigerian in Ghana, you can tell who is Nigerian and who is Ghanaian. Because Ghanaians are pretty dark skin. And then, they are not... The girls, I don't know, but the girls are not really tall. They have. They tend to have this really curvy. They are curvy, but they are... They are yeah, they have a lot of bum. Large. They have a lot every of bum. Every of them, every of them, their backside is very large. Even the tall ones, even the medium, like all of them. That is what the uniform... And it's not a matter of lipo. It's not a lipo. No, all no. natural. Yeah. That is why I say Niger- um, Ghanaians, their original, originality, down to the, to the gods giving assets of the women. Yeah, no, but what you use are no Nigerians. Eh? Then in the wedding, when do now wait now, you're <laughs> now. We are going to get into yeah, that. Okay. We are also going to talk about now. It's language, language. Okay, okay. What like it's not like they don't have different languages, so but they have one particular language. All of them will speak, and I like the way it sounds. I don't know how to speak it, but I like the way it sounds. When I went to Osu Market, my friend that uh, was also a Ghanaian, when he was trying to bargain prices for them, because as I said, if I go there alone as a foreigner. I will trek back because my money will finish. The way they will hike price, they say. And as I said, their hospitality, they are nice in the market. Everybody is welcoming, you know. I, I like the language when he was communicating with them. I don't know what they said, but I love the language. I love it. Yeah, generally, you could say that Ghana is not an English-speaking country. No, yeah, because no. English is not their... General language. It's not their... It's not their local. Let me not use the word. It's not their general yeah, language, language, unlike Nigeria, because we have so many languages, and we don't even have one uniform language for all of us. So the only uniform language we have for us is like English, which is, so, not, our which is not our language because we are too much to actually have one language. Mm-hmm. So like we Ghana, Ghana is not an English-speaking country, so they do not have mm-hmm. English as their general mm-hmm. language. Okay, while we were in Ghana, yeah, you attended a Ghanaian wedding. Mm-hmm. So what I want to know, you, we all know how Nigerian weddings are. It's like, it's, you have to show yourself. You have to show that you have arrived. Yeah. People have to know that you have made it. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. it's a battle of, uh, when you now come to the Ashebis, it's a battle of who killed the Ashebi, whose dress is given, whose style is given, mm-hmm. who is Bella Niger going to upload, who is going, you know, it's basically that kind of energy. And then it's be- it becomes... A war of money who ha- who is spraying the, the most money so i want to know we all know how leg 
Nigerian weddings are ah, Lagos weddings. Ah, it's basically a party. It's a party. It's not a wedding. So I want to know how are weddings in Ga- Ghana? Are they that extra? No. Are they that intense? Is not it at a, all. Is it, is it a war? That is not a war. It's not. It's not a war. That is why I said Ghanaians are original. Yeah. Like they are not trying to. Nobody is packaging for each other. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. Even me, I took my Nigerian mentality <laughs> to the wedding. Like I, I, I do pass myself. <laughs> you know me. I know the carry last. I came prepared. Like I prepared. <laughs> I came prepared. I was looking late. I was looking late. So, mm. but Ghana is so calm. Mm-hmm. No stress. They put in the efforts, but, yeah, but like, not much. Then the like the Ashebis normal calm and yeah. nothing they didn't do t- they didn't do extra money was not flying around in the sky <laughs> that is not that is not that is not Ghanaians for you they came to play ghana music and enjoy themselves that people just imagine people that don't do too much then you did you you came prepared like you took you took the if it was in nigeria i was hmm. my clothes would stand out though but you know we have it's first grade a first grade b like all of us would be like who should we call first second third fourth fifth but in Ghana, I was number one total. I really did steal the show because I prepared as if I was going to a Nigerian wedding. But Ghanaian weddings, yeah. I like it. Like, the setting, the outdoor setting of the wedding was oh, really, wow. really, really Impressive. nice. Do you understand? The outdoor setting of the wedding was really nice. There was, it was spacious. Then they did a buffet. Okay. Then the, Niger- the Ghana songs they played. The Ghana girls when they were busy dancing to their songs. Eh? I was looking at them. I wish I could understand the songs. Do you understand? Yeah. Then even because we started with a church wedding. Like um, you go to the church first before we went to the reception. When I went, because my clothes has a an opening here. I was not... Uh, if it was in Nigerian church, it's like a Catholic church. I'll be like, would they let me in? I was asking my partner. I was not like, nothing is wrong with your clothes. They'll let you in. Nobody even looked at me in a funny way. Understand? Yeah. Like, nobody looked at me in a funny way. Even if they, even if they had reservations, nobody came to me with the reservations. Yeah. No, you understand? No, no older lady they coming to preach to you the good news. Yes, nobody came to me with their reservations. But I enjoyed the wedding. I like the fact that it was down to earth. It was original. The money part, there was no money part. Um, the girls in the wedding, the Nigerian, the Ghana girls and their body. I'm jealous of you guys, though. I'm jealous of you guys. You, basically, yeah, yeah, they don't need to go under the knife. Yeah. You know, in Nigeria, we, we go under the knife often. And sometimes we come out looking like Spongebob. And then I'm not like, bruh, these people aren't even doing nothing. Yeah, it's just, g- the bot is bothing. That thing you're going under and the knife for. Them, if you see them, how they are dancing to their songs, their dance is so funny. They're really like this. <laughs> I was watching the girls, like, it was okay. Basically, Ghanaian music and Nigerian music. We all know that, personally, when it comes to the music industry, I feel like, not like Nigerian artists are doing better than Ghanaian artists, but I just feel like Ghanaian um nigerian artists their songs their music is actually diverse it actually which is a larger True. audience than True. Ghanaian music so what do you think did you hear nigerian music often definitely. or did you hear um Ghanaian music often definitely like okay see when they play ghana songs yeah. the Gan- the people who are indigenous vibe to the song they know the song but me i don't know it yeah. do you understand then when they play nigerian songs both indigenous and foreigners vibe to the song. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Like Ghana songs, only the indigenous know it. But Nigerian songs, foreigners, indigenous, everybody are late when the song comes on. So we all vibe to the song. So I think that answers the question. That's basically why we are t- why we are saying um, that Ghana Niger- Nigerian songs like they reach a higher audience than True. Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah. The next thing we're going to be talking about is your likes and dislikes. What did you like? What did you enjoy in Ghana? What didn't you enjoy? Because there's definitely two sides to the story. Um, what should I say that I didn't enjoy? Hmm. You know, you can only like, like just let's use Lagos as an example. They say it's only tourists, like people who've come visiting Lagos that enjoy Lagos, not people who live in Lagos that don't enjoy Lagos. So for me, I went visiting to Ghana. I made sure that every of my stay was memorable. I was having so much fun that I was cutting down on my sleep, you know, like, you go out, come back, you're so thinking of what next can I do, but Ghana was really fun, it was peaceful, it was calming, it was relaxing, yeah, 
So, I would like to come back to Ghana again, again, and again. And this time around, spend more time, have more fun, explore more places. So, anything you want to say? Any finishing the speech? Finish. Any closing speech? The finishing speech is that this lady right here mm -hmm. loves Ghana. And she would like to come back again, again, and again, and again. Thank you guys for having me. Purr, purr. So besties, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you happen to enjoy this video, if you found this video helpful, if there's anything about this video that excited you or excites you, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment if you love to see videos like this. We have her here. She's not going anywhere. If you actually enjoyed this video and we love to see videos like this, we'll make another video. That's if you guys enjoyed it. And we'll go into, you know, personal things and, you know, we'll go deeper than that. So... That brings us to the end of today's video. See you guys same time next week. Bye.